welcome to vms teacher app before getting started installation registration and synchronization you just make sure that the number which you are registering must be active in the phone also the number should have minimum balance for an sms authentication and make sure that the default messaging app on your phone is the pre-installed sms app and not other like hangout or whatsapp and even after that if it stop at the authentication process call on our support number 7506338899 i repeat 7506338899 now you click on google play store you can type vms teacher app as you click on VMS Teacher app, you will see the VMS Teacher. You click on VMS Teacher. Here it will uh, give you the open option. You can just click open. It will ask you the registration process. Here you have to type your registered mobile number. You can type your registered mobile number. As you click on register, it will make a process. It will take a one or two minutes. As you get the SMS, it automatically start configuring your mobile and it comes to your uh, branch. If you have multiple branch, it will show you the branch status. If you have a single branch, it will come to your direct authentication. You click on your branch this is the main screen where you will have all the functionality like pictures alerts homework payment fees payment holidays pta meeting result syllabus timetable attendance pta forum worksheet project work event and even you can sync to your server if you want to send uh, multiple picture like sports day you have some function in your school annual day for school some functionality is there you can click on the picture here it will be the main screen if you want to select the participant here it's come the multiple option like you can select a single child or you can select the particular standard and even you can define a group all if you want to send to everyone in the school select all so it goes to the all branches in all division, all standard. You click on done. Here you can define your picture title like sports day or annual day or you have some functionality. So define your function. Like I am just giving example sports day. Here you can describe the picture like if it is running race, you can define running race and even you can take live picture from your mobile or even you can take a video from your mobile or if you have taken picture already so you can define from your group from your gallery or from explore or from your photos so if you having multiple picture so you can select your multiple picture here there is no limitation you can define multiple picture and you can click on send button so it goes to the everyone in the school and every parents will see your all images live immediately now you can click on alerts button so here you can send any type of alerts notification any emergency notices it the, the pro sending the process will be the same like you have to select the reception you can select if you want to send particular notice to any single child you can uh, click on single child here it will show you the list of the child 
you can select a single child it will comes over here and if you want to send notices to a particular division you can click the standard here it will show you the all the class which you have you can select the class it will comes as a division if you have multiple division it will be shown over here so you can select the division you can click on done so here it will show you the like you are sending to particular one use one student then you are sending to the group of division here you can select the title like if you want to send a holiday and if you have some notices even you can attach the notice by clicking picture and you can click on send so it goes to the particular division and now is the functionality of homework so you can select your receptionist uh, you can select the standard you can select the particular class here you can type the subject you can describe your homework if you have particular date of submission here you can select the date of submission like it should be done in next 2 to day, 3 days so you can select the particular date and you can send so it will go to the whole division the mathematics homework so everyone will get the alerts like they have to do the homework of maths now it comes the fees fees is kind of uh, uh, receptionist of the payment like uh, any additional uh, fees like uh, your i card charges or particular uh, worksheet charges or uh, t-shirt charges anything here you can teacher can directly add the child here you can select the child you can select the amount and you can describe like which reason of the payment Here there are multiple options like cash or check. If it comes as a cash, you can save the payment option. It will go to the server. Now if you want to add multiple, so you can again you have to click the add button. Now there again holiday list here. Here you can upload your yearly holiday list. It will come over here and if you want to add some new holidays so you can add the new holidays and you can send to the particular uh, students or if you want the internal team like teachers or non-teaching staff so you can click over here and you can define the holiday name And if you have a specific date and if you have multiple date you can select the multiple date like start date and end date and you can add the holiday now there are option of PTA meeting if you want to call a PTA meeting you have to select the PTA meeting tab and you can add the new date for PTA and if you have some special uh, notices you can add by attach files so you can click the attach file and you can select the date And 
you can click add PTA meeting. Now here comes as a result. So if you click on result, so you have the Excel micro. So that Excel micro is will given to your administrator. So they will add the result of the student and automatically it displays on the parents phone. Now comes as a syllabus. So if you click on syllabus, so here is again the receptionist you can select your receptionist by particular child or particular division or everyone and you can click on if you had defined the group you can click on the group so like i have selected the standard second so i have a division i have selected the division i have homework subjects even I can attach the file if this has to be completed in weekdays or particular time frame so I can define the time so from 19 June to 9 July it should be completed now I have added so this way syllabus we can define the syllabus and it will go Now I am clicking the timetable. So here uh, I can select the receptionist. So I can same way I can define the child or particular division or everyone. I can uh, select the timetable if you have the screen. So I can take a snap of that timetable by clicking on photographs. Same way it get attached and I can send to the timetable now comes as the important point attendance by clicking attendance I can send to attendance of the whole class so here I have to select the date I have to select the standard and particular division so here is the two child so example Deepak as absent so I have to click absent and Harish is a present so I have to do nothing and if I click on done so automatically attendance get stored now this is the PTA forum so this PTA forum is for the people who are under the PTA and uh, it's their uh, internal for the parents now comes as a worksheet so if I want to send the worksheet to the particular student or particular division, I click the particular division, I select the division, now I have to select a subject, worksheet title, now any important note if we want to define here we can define the note so here I have given like you had they have to write the story as per the sheet given so I have attached the sheet now I have to define the submission date so I set the date of which I have given and when I have to submit let's see I have to submit on 26th so I select the submission data the 26th now I'll click on the send button so sheet will goes to the particular division now same way I have to select the project so here you have to select the reception so we have the same way you can select the particular single child or you have to select the particular standard and if you have some project work for everyone in the school you can select all so it goes to the everyone now we have to define the project title 
same way you have to if you have some important notification you have to write down in the project note you have to give the date which we are uh, giving and the submission date and if you have some important notices so you can attach your notices now this is the event so here you can define your event particular monthly basis or weekly basis you can define your events internal school event like if you have some programs if you have some uh, group wise discussion if you have some allocation anything you can define over here you can add your event you can give the title you can give the description you can select the particular start date and you can select the end date and you can click on add so it will goes to the everyone in the school this is the sync button if uh, some new notification has come you have to click on sync button so automatically information will get saved and whatever the information you have sent to the parents it will shown over here thank you thank you very much